So far we have seen that when we use app.use method to use the middleware, that middleware is applied on all the requests. But there is another overloaded version of this use method which we can use to apply a middleware only to a certain routes. Let's see how we can achieve this. So here we have the routes which we have defined for this application. Currently we can say that all our routes are on the same router and that router is this app object. So let's say if we want to create a new route for users resource that also we will create on the app router here, right? But if we want to separate these routes into different files, for example, one file for routes related to movies resource and other files for routes related to users resource, then the best thing to do is to create one router for each of these resources. Now, how can we achieve this? Well, in Express.js, we can create our router using express.router method. Okay, so this express.router returns a new router. Let's go ahead and let's store that router in a variable. And let's call that variable since we are creating this router for this movies resource. Let's call this router movies router. Okay, now instead of using this app object as the router, let's go ahead and let's use this movies router here. In the same way, if we have another route for users resource, in that case also we can create a new router. Let's say we will call it users router. And then instead of app, there we can use users router. And the main reason why we are doing this is because it will help us move these routes into separate files. Alright, so here we have created the router and then we are using this router. Now this express.router actually returns a middleware. That means this movies router is a middleware. And what we want is we want to use this middleware. Now we have learned in order to use a middleware, we use the use method on the app object. And to this, we pass that middleware which we want to use. So if I go ahead and if I pass this middleware to this app.use method, in that case, this middleware will be applied for all the requests. But we don't want that. We don't want this middleware, this movies router to be applied for all the requests. We only want to apply it for specific URLs. For that, this use method has another overloaded version where the first argument will be the path to which we want to apply this middleware. Here, I want to apply this movies router middleware to this endpoint, this API slash v1 slash movies. So I'll copy it and I will pass it here. So now this middleware will be applied only to those requests which is made to this path, to this URL. And it will not be applied to all the requests. So here, we are basically mounting this middleware on this path, on this route. And this is what is called as mounting routes. Now, there are a couple of more changes which we need to do. So now, this router will be applied to this path, to this endpoint. Okay, so from here, we need to remove this path. Because what will happen is, this path which we are applying here, that will be appended to this path. And we don't want that. Okay. Here, we want to append only a single slash like this after this endpoint. So when the request will be made to slash API slash v1 slash movies, in that case, if it is a get or post request, this route will be called. And from here also, I will remove this part. So now, when the request will be made to slash API slash v1 slash movies, and after that, if we have slash ID, that means if we have a value for this ID parameter, in that case, this route will be called. So basically, these paths which we are specifying here, that will be appended to this path. The path which we are specifying for this use method as the first argument. Okay, with this, if we save the changes, if we go to Postman, and let's say we want to make a get request to get all the movies. So if I click on this send button, let's see if we are getting the response or not. So here you can see we are still getting the response. Let's go to this get movie by ID. And there, let's say we want to get the movie in the response with the ID 2. If I click on this send button, here we are still receiving the response. But since the movie with ID 2 is not found, we are receiving a 404 response. Let me pass maybe 5 here. And let's click on this send button. So now, for this ID, we are receiving a movie object in the response. So this get movie by ID is also working as expected. 
in the same way dispatch delete and post request should also be working so here we have basically created a new router and we are using that router for the movies route and then we are mounting that router to this path using use method so when we mount a router to a path a router is basically a middleware and that middleware will only get applied to those requests which contains that path in the endpoint in the url i hope it is clear now so this is all from this lecture in the next lecture we will see how we can move this router which we have created here into a separate file and then use it inside this app.js file